dangerous to you and see what the most interesting things that they throw on. Yeah, I know it's oh probably God. it's probably dangerous, but it'd be kind of funny for like a second. I think so. First of all, don't ever take advice from a guy behind a microphone that's never been out on the road. Okay, yeah, hey, that's true. number one. True story. Sebastian, if they there's enough stuff being thrown on stage. Yeah, they don't need anything else. They, we don't yeah, encourage. No, we, we, we don't encourage that. Oh, okay. We never mind. I take that back. We don't encourage it. Yeah, don't tell do people to do that. <laughs> Please, there's enough underwear and strange stuff that gets thrown up now. Or We're good. Found. I found a coaster with a girl's name and phone number on it in my microphone bag. <laughs> did, did you know this was a microphone bag? Was this for me? You call yeah. it? <laughs> I'm like, let's call that number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> the song Wolf. Uh, what is this, this song come out already? It comes out on the 18th of this month. You okay. Have it in advance. All right, so we're not gonna play. We're gonna we're gonna play Crossing Over first, and then okay, we'll play Wolf. Uh, all right, let's play pl- Crossing Over right now. You guys are making me laugh way too much over here. <laughs> Good times. Good times. It's probably the wine. It's it's not wine. It's 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 can Okay, it's wine.
God, that yeah. was that was crossing over. I'm gonna tell everybody about your band. Everyone I meet. <laughs> Lies. 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 I, I like to say inside jokes on the podcast that no one actually hears on the podcast because it's funny to us. And then we have yeah, our thing. Yes. <laughs> that's all. That's all that matters. How many? No, books? That's, that's a bad idea. <laughs> that's a great that's, idea. It's Let's not tell no one about this whole thing. Yes. Just keep the whole thing a secret. All right. Yeah, <laughs> we'll keep the whole thing a secret on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Sam froze up on us on his end. He did. He's the McDonald's Wi-Fi is not doing it. <laughs> McDonald's Wi-Fi is not working out for you, Sam. It's not working out for you, man. He's back. You call Ronald and tell him nope. what's up, brother. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 How many? How many countries have you guys played in? Um, England, Germany, France, Ukraine. Uh, like seven, seven countries. You know, we I haven't have... gotten to Canada yet. We're looking. I want to do yeah, Canada. Seven. Yeah, six or seven. Six or seven. We want to get we want to get back to Europe and get back to like you know get back to the Ukraine and France, Germany. Italy is big time on our list. Yeah, Italy. Um, once and of course that's where like the pandemic they like closed the country. Um, that's yeah. big on our list, and uh, we we have some some stuff coming up later this year. Uh, we can't talk about it yet, but knock on wood. Um, starting in October, November, and December, we're going to be doing some pretty extensive touring in the states. Um. And then we hope in early 2022 to be touring the Siren album in Europe um, and and Canada. So it's kind of like we're eager to get back on the road, but of course, that's really up to you know COVID laws and etc. So you know, I, I ask these questions on the podcast expecting the band to know the answer off the top of their heads, but a lot of times I'm like, they're like, oh, that was way off guard. I had no idea you're going to ask that question. So. You're good. I love it. I love it. When it comes to songwriting, um, there's four members. Of, there's four members of the band, right? Yes. So who who starts off with the songwriting process first? CM will normally give me like a template of a song. Yeah, I usually write demos. I demo everything. I'm mm-hmm. I'm a producer and an engineer. I mix I mix a ton of people's albums. That's kind of my stock and trade for the last 20 years. I'm a, I'm a mixer and a mastering engineer. So I usually will sit and write, and then I'll hand it to her, and then she determines if it's a song or not. Yeah. Um, and then we move it from there. And I write lyrics and melody okay. to it, and then then we start showing it to the band. Yeah. Okay, so you guys, you guys pretty much come up with the whole collective idea first, and then decide to tell the band, hey, this is what we're going to work on. Yes, and then they'll put their their yeah. flair on it. Like it's that's amazing how that comes together sometimes because it is it's a template, and then you'll have Ted. Ted Ted our know, drummer is absolutely insane. His um, timing and his, yeah, he he came into the band and uh, up to that point we had, we, we had great drummers, really good drummers, but Ted came in and he kind of brought in a whole methodology that um, I hadn't. I, I I was trained in bass. I went to settlement school, etc. Okay. So I worked a lot with the click, but when you're playing metal and playing rock, usually you're not, sometimes you're not on a click. He brought in an entire system with him for, for writing and working. So he kind of, been, we took him in the template and then he kind of looks at it and goes, well, we should change here or do this, do that. Like I said, in the beginning of down, when that was written, it wasn't written to have six, eight timing with 30 second blast beats over it, but it happened. <laughs> so right, yeah. it's interesting. Do you have the? Do you, have, do you guys still have the typical band practice where you all get together, or do you write the music and then send it off? No, we still get together. We okay, get together good. every week, um, but he, of course, sends everything off so people can work on stuff at home. It so. is. It is almost like back. I remember when I was a kid and I was reading about Rush and they used to mail each other dat tapes and yeah. work on their albums. I'm like, how do they do that? Now I, our drummer records in his studio at his house. Our guitar player, we we do everything by email and then we assemble it here. Mm-hmm. Um, but we do get together every week and we, we bounce the songs off each other to make sure it works live. Um, and that, cause that's a big part of it. If it doesn't work live. Even if it's a song, if it doesn't kick ass live, what's the point? Yeah. Do you, and do, do you practice the theatrics also during band practice? I guess oh, yeah. you have to, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. You have to, you have to practice how you're going to perform because there's been plenty of times before I was doing that on a regular basis that I'd lose my breath or not have the energy to finish out a set. 
So whatever I'm going to do, I've got to be down here practicing. And now a mo- kind of modern technology and us advancing the show, we're using something called Ableton Live. Uh-huh. Um, and it, it's actually really cool because uh, I don't have to use a floorboard anymore to click on and off effects. The mm-hmm. computer does it. It also controls all of the video screens, all the lighting. Lights. So when we're rehearsing, we're rehearsing the lighting cues, we're rehearsing the video yes. cues. We're, so it's it's become, it's not getting together in the garage and jamming. I kind of miss that. But it's also really, you know, it can become really fun because you're like, well, can we do this lighting array? And they're like, oh, shit, yeah. And they program it in. And next thing you know, you got something really cool going on. Is, is it intimidating? Is it intimidating to learn these new softwares? Because I know, like, for me, like, even social media, new social medias are intimidating. Mm-hmm. As a musician, it, as a musician, is it like, oh, here's something new I have to learn? Or do you just dive right into it and figure it out? Uh, it's kind of 50-50. I'm a little scared of it, but it is, um, you know, I, I when I started out engineering, I engineered on, I recorded albums on tape, and I worked on Neve and SSL boards. And now I'm in the box. So it's kind of like that for me. Like, when Ableton was handed to us and our crew, and we began to work on it. It's really cool. We all learn it together and work on it. So it's a little scary, but it's also a lot of fun. It's kind of like life. But I'm like you. So drink block wine. Right. Block wine. Drinking don't. box wine, staying away from social media because <laughs> I don't know how to operate it. <laughs> don't. All of them, I'm like, my phone's doing it. Here, you fix it. I have no clue. Like, don't let him bullshit you. It's because <laughs> it, he just doesn't want to do it. If you force him <laughs> and you give him a class on it and you show him, he will do it. Now I can't, get him, I can't get him off of TikTok. <laughs> True story. I can see. I'm Box having too much fun with it. Box Box it yeah. goes hand in hand, I think so. It goes yeah. hand in hand. When, when you're writing, the, when you, when you're, when you, after you write the song and they're doing the theatrics, if sometimes, let's say you run out of breath or it's just not working out, do you change the song structure? So does the theatrics sometimes influence the change of the song? No, it doesn't. No, ex- ex- the exact opposite. Okay. Nothing comes in the way of the vocals. The vocals first, performance second. Oh, cool. Yeah, so, just... But there are moments like we um, we will build in live moments, especially once oh, yeah. we're touring a song a little bit. Like there's a song we have called Red Sky Morning. Um, and we noticed that this one part in the song, people were just kind of, clapping and stomping so we kind of took we broke that into the show we listened to the audience and we let them tell us where things build and not um and it was really cool uh she actually got this giant red flag we take out on tour that she waves it across the audience um in the united states in the united states you can't, you take do, a red flag you can't do that in the ukraine yeah. there's a whole history <laughs> um, um so don't make that, that mistake got in, that yeah. got built in by oh, yeah. the uh, that got built in by the audience. Uh, so it's it's a little bit of listening to what makes it what works live, and we adjust the show. Um, and But modern technology has made that a lot harder and easier. Once you program it in and you learn it, uh, right. it's really cool because you just hit play and you go. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's play the song The Wolf. So this.